I am Dakar. Welcome, Dakar. Thank you. I see that we're at a webinar. Very, very well. I understand that you want an update on the colonies and the meetings that have gone on between the Earth and the and the alien alliances. That is very well. I can tell you much about that. If there are any questions after I am finished, you may ask them then. We are in the midst of many different uh, question and answer periods and trying to get closer to first contact. We are also trying to find ways to communicate to your planet that will be most beneficial to people in, uh, in the Earth to recognize that aliens are friendly. We call ourselves aliens because we are not offended by it. Extraterrestrials actually means that we're not from Earth or we are extra from Earth and that is not actually very exact so we actually prefer aliens over extraterrestrials off-worlders is a good term it, it doesn't really matter to us what you call us we are realizing that you are just using terms to bring us into re realization if you use any term to bring us into realization we are grateful so therefore we are not offended by any term that you would use to speak about us but we are also trying to give the world a greater understanding of who we are in this realm and that we are not battling or going to take over your planet but wish to welcome you into the galaxy, welcome you into the understanding that we have our arms open for whenever you are ready for us. So that is one way we would like to depict ourselves, is that we are not coming to take over, but we are coming to welcome you into the galaxy. And if you welcome us to Earth, we will come there too, if that is what you so choose. If you prefer that we stay off-world, but still acknowledge us, we will take that into consideration and be very happy with it. Any form of communication that can be improved with your planet is welcome. And so therefore, that is one thing that we are working with your governments, and they seem to be softening in some ways toward this communication. They, of course, have understood that we have not attacked, we have not taken over, and we have listened carefully to everything that they have said for several years now. So, I think they are starting to soften about the way that we are working with them, and perhaps within the next few years, before 2020, first contact will be something of a, a positive thing, a reality for us all. So we are just praying and hoping that these communications continue to go further and further. And we are very happy with the outcome of this last conference. It's been the most successful of all. I believe one of the points that was successful about is, it is was that they realized that their planet, your planet, is under much stress for the economy. In many, many places around your planet, there are many, many places financially in problems. And therefore, they are willing to hear our advice on these things. Although we do not want to change their future because they have free will to do that on their own, we do give suggestions, but they have still have to make the decisions on their own. Do you understand that? We are not telling them what to do. They are, we are only making suggestions, and we make several so that they can choose between them. Now, the, there is a right and a wrong decision. We will not give them any really wrong decisions, but some decisions will be slower activations than other systems. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. So do not be worried about all the negativity that is happening on the Earth. The Cabal and the Shimera and Anunnaki and 
the others that are the Illuminati, all these things that have bad references or bad what can be considered uh, negative. We do not like the word bad. And we do not even like the word negative. But they do come across as these things, and that's the way you understand them. So that's the way we have to communicate it. So therefore, we, we understand where they stand. And you see, we've given your countries and your governments ways to overcome these things, but they must choose correctly. And they must choose together, because only one country choosing the right decision will not be beneficial. It has to be an, a, a greater percent than 50% to make it worthwhile. So therefore, they have asked for some of our opinions, and therefore we have given them. But we were careful to give them several, because free will is necessary. Now, there are other things discussed, but I do not want to go into them right now, because they are not they have not been <laughs> distinguished as being a part of uh, awareness for the whole earth, but only awareness for those of uh, a higher government officials such as weaponry, war, and things of this nature, and so we will not discuss that today. However, if there are questions, please do not ask about uh, war or the weapons of war or anything of that nature because we are not at liberty to discuss them at this time. But if you do have questions, please ask them now. Wuha, Tsuka. Greetings. This is Rowie. Rowie, welcome. How are you? I'm wonderful. That's fantastic. I want to um, just backtrack a little bit to what's referred to the alien agenda yes as you mentioned earlier um, there is um, obviously uh, the yin and yang the balance there is people like us who are very much on a positive note of the alien agenda and we trust that we want to be part of the, the galaxy the universe we want to spread our wings and fly and explore again like we used to hundreds of years ago yes. but there's also a a lot of people that feel there's a negative and have been fed information, there's a negative alien agenda. Do you have any message for anybody out there who might be listening that you could let them know what the agenda is? There are negative alien like agendas. Yeah. Thank you for that question because there are negative alien agendas, but they are not ours. <laughs> there are agendas of other species and I will not mention them because that will give them because not all of their species are negative and we have made the mistake of saying what species they are and then people will take a negative approach toward that particular species and it is not all the com completely all of that species that are negative but factions of it that is understood I hope but there yes. are those that wish to work with the governments of your planet in a negative way. Yes, there is an alien agenda. And also many think that our agenda has a negative side as well. It is not that our, our agenda is negative. There is personal gain for us. Working with humanity does have a separate agenda for us than it does for you. And that is something that is always there. Whenever working with two different species, there is always another agenda. Because we will all, it is not that you will just benefit, but we will also benefit from it. And not in a negative way. Not that we are taking uh -huh. advantage of you, but we want to be in agreement about how we work with you. However, we have not revealed all of our agenda. So some have said that, yes, we can, yes, we are working for humanity, but no, we can't be trusted. But that is not quite true. We can be trusted to help humanity and bring truth to humanity. But the this other side of our agenda will be revealed at first contact. So that, therefore, it just 
we are just making it easier for you to accept us and we are not trying to do anything negative. Does that help you at all? Yes, it yes, does. I understand the, the balance of uh, we have feedback. Um, um, I understand the balance of energy as well and how that interacts and why there has to be, you know, there's something we're getting from it, there's something you're getting from it. So yes. I understand that exchange completely. Win. And sorry? Win win. Win win. Yeah, a win win situation. Yes. But I guess there's a lot of people, like you mentioned before, with the pharmaceutical companies and other very, very high profitable companies that don't do what they're supposed to do. They just sort of mimic what they're supposed to do. And they're well, the ones that are being threatened by this. So, I'm sure yeah. that you're aware that those who have discovered the cure for cancer were eliminated from your planet. Some of those that discovered cures for things that cause, cost much money to purchase in humanity were eliminated because they did not want this cure to be exposed. And these people were, to, were bringing their information to the governments and were eliminated before they got there because they have spies everywhere to know what things have been discovered and what things have not been discovered. And so therefore these cures are in the hands of the pharmaceutical companies. They are not on the up and up in many ways. And I will say that to you, and they know that many people know that already. Okay, thank you, Takura. That was my question.